Good evening. It's been a couple of rainy afternoons and evenings here in Nairobi. And I've taken the time this year to really be intentional about my reading. And I decided, you know what, Let, let's start talking today a little bit about fear. Because the year is starting, people have a lot of hope. But sometimes your external environment is more difficult, is more challenging. And as a result of that, you end up getting discouraged and not having the momentum that you need. And, and I happened to look at um, <laughs> my book, Reinvent, and I was looking at what is it that has made me feel fearful in the past? And, you know, the acronym FEAR stands for false evidence appearing real. It could also mean face everything and run. And today I want to encourage you not to give in to fear in the sense that it'll paralyze you. Because what I have found is that fear has the benefit of helping to protect us. But when it becomes paralyzing, it's then not serving as well. So what are some of the fears that I have experienced, I have seen our clients experience? Uh, let me just share with you a couple of them. And as you listen to them, determine which one is your chosen fear at the moment. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of success, fear of betrayal, fear of looking foolish, hmm. fear of social situations, fear of death, fear of poverty, fear of wealth, fear of ill health, fear of loss, fear of criticism, fear of speaking up, fear of silence, fear of pain fear of grief and loss, huh. fear of making mistakes, fear of even resolving those mistakes. How about that? Fear of having tough, courageous conversations. That's a big one. I struggled with that for a long time. And a lot of um, leaders struggle with having courageous conversations and you keep sweeping things under the carpet until it erupts, you know, and explodes in your face. Fear of being powerful, most people want to be powerful, but they are fearful. Fear of being powerless. That's a big one for a lot of people. Fear of intimidation. Fear of sickness. Fear of old age. Fear of embarrassment. Fear of lack of control. Fear of being alone. Fear of loneliness. Fear of joy. Fear of sadness. Fear of hope. Fear of discouragement. Fear of discomfort. Fear of comfort. Fear of suffering fear of growth, fear of fear itself, fear of beginning again. So which fear are you currently suffering from? I think what I've found over time, and I write about it in the book Reinvent, is to manage your fears because you can't be fearless. I think that's a lie. Being fearless means that you don't have any feelings. There has to be an element of fear, just like there's an element of healthy stress. And so to manage your fears, not to eradicate them, identify, acknowledge, and name your dominant fear, okay? So the first thing, identify. So I want to do this thing this year. I want to improve in this area. I want to strengthen this part of my life. I want to lead better. I want to work better. I want to even love my family and friends better. But I have been betrayed in the past. So my fear is a fear of betrayal a fear of looking foolish a fear of vulnerability maybe that could be a fear i remember that's the fear that one of my mentees was sharing with me and and one of the things i encouraged her to do is identify the root cause you see where did that come from and that fear came from betrayals that she hadn't processed and worked on and so once you identify the root cause, then start to do something small about overcoming that fear. So let's talk about um, a couple of fears that I see. Fear of putting up your hand, you know, fear of speaking up, fear of presenting your idea, fear of even answering a question. You know, I remember I was in Harvard just last year and I mean, it's, it's an alpha, alpha, alpha intelligent um, atmosphere. And we're about 70 of us and the lecturer asks a question. And before I can even put up my hand, someone has spoken up and has answered. 
And I, I had to train myself not to second guess myself. And I realized that that came from the experience of having been humiliated uh, at some point when I said something that didn't come out as well as I would have liked to. So identify the root cause and then start to take baby steps. Yesterday when we had our LEAP um, webinar for 2024 with 200 leaders, oh, I'm so proud of each of you. One of the things that I said and I was coaching them was don't get into the fallacy of grandiose big things that you need to do big steps that you need to take that's a lie and that's the lie that makes many of us never attempt to do things so i want to encourage you just like the pattern on this kimono i'm wearing that just a, a, a dot there a color there when you look at all of it it's like joseph and the technicolor gold uh, you know coat is that every little piece adds up to create the tapestry in the same way, that little step you take today to speak up in the next meeting to say, I'd like to share an idea in the next meeting to buttress and emphasize someone else's comment and bring in a different perspective in that other space where you need to put up your hand quickly in that next webinar where you want to say something and you're waiting to gather the courage. And in the meantime, the Q&A time is shrinking. So by the time you lift your hand on the Zoom, your time is up. So how about conquer fear by not negotiating with it? Uh, for as long as you can rectify your intention, check. Why do I want to do this? Is it out of a positive intent or is it an intention that I need to rectify? Once you do so, you will find that the step of putting up your hand and speaking up and doing so respectfully and in meaningfully meaningful ways will actually change the trajectory of how you contribute and how you grow and how you become mm -hmm, your next best self. You see, there's a reason why we didn't say your best self. We actually believe that it is a journey every day of choosing to get better. And so your next could be what you do in the next minute after watching this video. Your next could be, you know what? I've been procrastinating in having a courageous conversation and it's time that I did it. It is time because for as long as I'm not having that courageous conversation, I'm becoming resentful of the person. And I dare challenge you, if you're not having those courageous conversations, which will be the subject of my next video, then chances are it's because fear has actually ensured and bound your tongue. So today, choose your fear, find the root cause, and then start to do something about it. Little by little, you look back and realize, oh my goodness, I didn't even know that that fear is no longer an issue. I wish you the very best and I look forward to your feedback. Tell me which is the fear that you are challenged with, struggling with, overcoming, and I'll be excited to see how this video may help you to get even stronger. Thank you.